We used to think that the trillions of microbes in our gut was just to digest our food. We now understand that they communicate with each other to form part of the intelligent control system which regulates our bodies, particularly our appetite. If we do not feed our gut brain the right sort of food, it releases hormones which makes us hungry so we overeat and get fat and sick. There are many factors which affect our health and how long we live, but we can be sure that if we feed our gut brain we release the chances of living a long and healthy life and be fit and active to the very end. And if we do not feed our gut brain we increase the risk of having a leg amputated from diabetes, dying young and slowly from liver or kidney failure, quickly from a heart attack or worse losing ourself from dementia. Microbes have a short life. One hour for a microbe is equivalent to a year of human life. They are continuously being replaced by breeding in our gut and being replenished from the food we eat. Unfortunately, our modern chemical industrial food system provides foods which is both low in essential nutrients and replacement microbes. And with the time from harvest to eating, any microbes that did exist will have died. To benefit from these beneficial microbes, plants must be eaten fresh. The most effective solution is to grow plants in living soil full of beneficial microbes and essential nutrients in a G-Biota biobox. This is simple and easy, so virtually anyone can do it, and it actually costs less than buying fruit from the supermarket. It is a fresh and reliable source of gut-brain food. G-Biota does not supply gut-brain food, but it does show how you can grow your own gut-brain food. Our website, gbiota.com, shows how. But developing the gbiota technology requires a lot of experimentation, which costs time and money, so we have to make this a subscription site. We publish several new articles every month. We provide a month's free access, so anyone can read them and see what we are doing and decide without any costs whether they want to join the gbiota movement so they can grow their own gut food. You just have to register and it costs just $5 Australia per month. After that, you will need to buy an inoculant, a starter mix of microbes, worm eggs and trace minerals from an approved local grower. You can cancel at any time. It is easy, but you have to do it right, providing the right conditions of nutrients, air and water. For the beneficial microbes to breed, the soil must be moist, but not too wet, with an adequate supply of air. If the soil is too wet without air, the conditions favour the growth of harmful microbes. Key to this is a system of partial flood and drain, where we partially flood the soil, which expels the stale air, and then draining, sucking fresh air into the soil. We are making the soil breathe. You can learn how at www.gbiota.com.